ne baye ke nene mono dalun ke kunu melo amam na yela hono fuma e bo no baye ka jine o telo ni aine meni wa koko am bosse ke tata asu no no ya o ya dirun chani de namma o ya dira ni boni de namma ani bo ya de ise 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 am diko o suwe batakuru o de iphone ni ba kuko ice right ti edu no no bo sin ke tata ko ni ge ya bi fe e bo stamba ka ye de menu no bo da e bo eastern region eh ice right ti edu ni ya bi fe ko no ge ya ofuma ofuma stanam bido no na nkosi e mo no jadi ki bi ya bo fi ge ya bi fe bo tete ni ya ibo mi dia ka isi we ne wo tedu no ya bo ji joke mba so unbunu ni gesikwe ni abi ife una drop ora comment you na chom ka e ka mo unu do mo o me na ju esiko ni ge abi ife unu gesi aya una drop or comment you you nche boss tama ka abi ife right um diko se di ngwa ni gen ya bi ife part of nigeria and we all pretended when i say we speaking of the pastors the imams those you will consider leaders of thoughts in society. You kept quiet. And then you bewail the evil that has overtaken our land. Even when my own lips were sealed, there were people who were speaking. Yele spoke, 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 spoke. And I'm speaking of Yele because he's the one in my own generation. It's Baba Umano. There are many other people. They spoke on fire. You would always find accommodation for you when you are elected to do so. I realized that something has to shift. And it is in that realization that I spoke of the idea of citizenship. Because it is only citizenship as an idea that can stand in challenge of the prevailing idea that is governing Nigeria. Every system, whatever is utilitarian value, whatever it is you're looking to do with that system, it must be designed with that end in mind. So in designing the thing, the habit of the system shapes its character and it is critical to look at its habit to paint his character. Nigeria is essentially a feudal state. Because the reality is that aside from the traditional institutions that were in place long before the white man found his unfortunate legs and the Arabs before them found their way into this space, we had our kings. And those kings are still in existence as moribund as the kingship and the emirship and the traditional rulership system might have become appointees of today's government who are the true monarchs reality is today's nigeria is not republican it is anything but so you have a situation where you have a constitution he says it is the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but it is not an expression of the will of the people who are known as Nigerians, who are Nigerians, whether they like it or not, because they cannot freely express their right to self-determination within the construct that says it is a federation. So in reality, what you find is that Nigeria is a feudal state comprising essentially, as the Supreme Court has now confirmed, of 37 states. That is the reality. And then there is a sultan at the head, and forget the one in Sokoto, I'm not speaking to his eminence. I'm talking about the sultan that is inside the rock at Asokoro. They change them periodically in a game of succession that has never been reflective of the will of the people. So, be clear, you have a feudal system. Your governors, they are the emirs. 
E, the Daguda. E is the Sultan. The one before him was the Sultan. The one before that one was also a Sultan. And as long as the 1999 fraud persists, whoever sits in that office would be the Sultan of Nigeria. That, unfortunately, is the reality of Nigeria. So, the entirety of the design of governance, the choices that the government makes at any point in time, is in promotion and sustenance of the feudal system that it has built. So, what are these design choices? Feudalism exists on two critical legs. Two. The first is weaponized ignorance. Those who are the subjects of feudal states are systematically kept ignorant because it is in their ignorance that they will find acceptance for their non-equality with fellow men who have only one head, two legs, and every other digit just like themselves. But feudalism is only a step to serve who is what you will call the citizen, because the Nigerian is a self. The self is deliberately kept ignorant, because it is in his ignorance that he would accept the state of serfdom, which is little different from slavery. So get it clear. Ignorance is a policy goal of the state once it is a feudal one. Look around you. What has happened? We're in Lagos. This is Lagos, the fifth largest economy, if not the fourth, in the whole of Africa. What about his educational system? Looks revolutionary. What is it about it that even looks contemporary? From provision of infrastructure to even the human resource, the literates are teaching children. And what are they even teaching them? The entire education curriculum of Nigeria is useless as with the same with most other African countries. What are you teaching? You are graduating engineers that cannot build paved roads. Every time I see Lebanese, Syrians, Chinese engineers on our road project, my heart bleeds. 60 years, 60 plus years after, after independence, this is where we are. It's not by accident. It's by design. If you can be, see, it's not by everything that you see around you is by design. These are design choices. But we, we pray, we're praying. Our Naira will soon become parallel with the dollar. We're still praying. We should even fast. Those are systemic intentions. And those are the choices it made in order to pursue the goal. So when you have finished dealing with weaponized ignorance. You now need to look, what are the other design choices? Weaponized poverty. Weaponized poverty. It is deliberate. Nigerians, wake up. The destruction of the economy is not by accident. The destruction of the economy is not by accident. It is deliberate. Let this sink into your head. It is not by accident that we have not managed to be able to generate electricity in Nigeria in 60-something years. I recently found a National Concord editorial dating back to 1983, speaking to the incompetence of NEPA with power generation. 1983. Guess how many years ago that was? 31 years ago. And we're still talking about off nepa up nepa off nepa up nepa up till now. When are we going to come to the point where we begin to just accept, acknowledge that these things are not problems to those who are pretending to solve the problem. They are design options. Bola Metinobu came into office in spite of all of his shenanigans, in a blaze of lies and myths. And one of the first things he said was, 
subsidy is gone. So now subsidy is gone, but subsidy is there. The currency has lost at least close to 100% of its value. I'm not an economist, but I do have a pocketbook. I have a wallet. I know how far it has shrunk. I know how many more people are forced to beg. I know how many more people are forced to find ways to extend a hand to. I know just exactly how easy it has become for Nigerians since this Jabuda brought himself into office. It has been hell in this country. It was hell before he came, but it's gotten worse. Insecurity. Insecurity also deepens the poverty because it then means that those who have been living on subsistence farming are suddenly driven away from their farms. The emirs who had their tenures confirmed by the Supreme Court. What did they say? They were all busy falling over themselves to thank Mr. President, the Sultan. They didn't need to thank the people because the people's vote did not count. The people's vote did not count. So they did not need to thank the people. And they did not need to thank the judiciary for upholding the law because they all know that the judiciary, our judiciary does not uphold any law. So because we're familiar with the fact of what might happen or what will happen, because think about it, people were waving flags at Lekki Toll Gate. They were killed, murdered. The state denied it. Fellow serfs denied the humanity of those who were murdered. The international community looked away. They looked away, pretended they did not see what they saw. They unsaw what they saw. You know what I'm saying? They pretended as long as the oil is flowing and refugees are not flowing out, they're fine with whatever shit happens in our country. I have no guns to give to you. I'm not going to tell you to go and buy a port. We are all going to have to figure this out together, but understand very clearly, nothing short of a revolution will save us from this mess. I am quick to decry violence. It is because the system has anticipated it, is prepared for it, and prefers it. But the system is not prepared for our unified demands for justice, for equity, for citizenship. I know it sounds utopian, but what are our alternatives? Guns? Or we fold our hands in resignation? <laughs>
ya bon kwa kai ai kwodunu anai ga me mezue ta wasa de ki bia bo i watch ya ya kita inu ni ba kwo bia from prime minister kwo go go ge zo ku no din kedu nan chukota moge ka ri we detail ai ni ya makwo ki ye ga na esi na emezi wo le be ekwete na ndi bo ya anu wo le ba sla ya nol but the babylon net president the babylon vice president not in not in and the new yin din na me gaskwa anu umun na eso ko na abo wo fa mba maka wo ki be je mege de ze adurozi asimo ogini na emezi odi ka alu aru acho ze di me ayi nekodi ni ko bodo si di ke mere jiji de one night work e buma azina ndi kanu na akporo akwa maka ndi igbo kini ki yojo mele maka osi na ni igbo ga di maka osi na ega di na ega di ka echi na echi ada agu agu oguli ozo jiji de jo wo ga ajua kini ke jiji de ma azina ndi kanu akwa maka osi na igbo ya di because to the ki we be chitere ifa bu iwo media ai na asu no nu bai ono nu bai ka na asu so because obu na da nu igbo iwe we na ge ono nu bai ka ija ko we na eme ba kego kwa ni aine ku before une oku ni iwe ki ifo nye ndu melo osi ni ya ni mbo mbo ndi igbo abia na alu una ewuti ya simon e papinia aya boba ya mba ke melo bident movement aku wuru ku ma asin na ndi kanu ku before me before ji dia they will never give you that president that seat aku doru na no no pito bi win ni ma ni nyere ya gini ka se abo mba ibo mona ni ife maka wo ke isi na ekuzi oku o ke ife ga na isi na emezi obo ni ekporo wo gi meeting chuko chuko wo ga onu ju wo ga ajua ke ebe ikwu na obodo abo na njidia aju nchoko onye obo na bu onye gbo na ege munti na edu akwukwa ju ya ani ji chuko wo ga abi ife isaya oku na ka mno no Iya bu ibu media.